thing we're going to do, and this is really important as well, we have to have some sort of an expected average sales price if we're going to work out how many sales we need. So I don't know if you have one or if you want me to sort of suggest one for you. Well, let's do this. So because we, we have a big sort of thing about six month programs being ideal at the moment. So let's say if you did a six month program. So how much is your average sales price for the three month one? Okay, so what we're going to do, we're going to be safe here because it's better to be safe than sorry. So better to sort of be under than over. Let's say that your six month program average is going to be 2K. Cool, so we'll say 2K equals average. So now what we're going to do, G, simple math, but yeah. So it's basically going to be, let's just say this is 24K per month is the goal. We've got 2K, so what we're going to need is 12 sales per month. That's our first target, 12 sales per month. Month. Now, is everyone with me so far? Anyone confused? Cool, all right. What I wanna do, G, is divide 12 by 4.3. I'll explain why. Okay, so we'll say three. We round up, so equals three sales per week. And the reason for that is there's about 4.3 weeks in a month. So now what we've got it down is we're getting somewhere because we've got this 23 and a half K goal, well, really 20 K, allowing for 15% failures, now we're at 23.5. And what we're left with is three sales a week, but we can do better than that as well because there's still two more variables that we need to consider. Number one is conversion percentage. And the other one is no show rate or no show percentage. And these are gonna help us understand not only how many sales we need to make per week, but how many calls we need to make on average and how many bookings we need to have. So what we're gonna do is we're gonna get, I'll be honest, this is what I like to have. In the program, I would like to say anyone that works with us with our system will approximately get to 70%. And gee, I know we usually get about 70% shot, but would it be fair to say that we could get at least 60% would be a good recommendation or is that Okay, yeah, yeah, absolutely. So, these are idealistic, right? But we're gonna do better, because as I said, you better to be safe than sorry. So let's do a different color. They're the, they're the ideal numbers, they're actually the expected numbers, but let's do instead, we'll be cynical, and we'll say that I'm depressed in six months time, I've only got you to 50%, or maybe you're doing it on your own, and we're gonna say that you're also not doing so well, and you're getting 50% of people to show up. So these numbers are safe. So the first thing we're gonna do is we're gonna get three, and we realize if our conversion rate is 50%, then what we're gonna need is six calls per week. Is that making sense to everyone so far? Now the final number, and this is what we're left with in the end, is we're gonna have 12 bookings per week. Now Amy, can I ask you, if you had a business that was legitimately generating 20K per month in revenue after failed payments and whatnot, how many days a week would you actually be planning to work in this business? Well, how many would you be willing to work in it? Doesn't have to be, no. So. So would you be willing to work, if you could make this happen, would you be willing to do five days where you actually took calls and maybe like a small amount on the weekend, for example? So if we've got that, and this is just to keep it simple, guys, because that's approximately six different days, you're looking at an incredibly realistic target of two bookings per day. Now, when we boil that down, there's still more to that, understand. <laughs> there we go. So we, when we can boil that down, you can go further, of course. There's different things that we can look at. But ultimately, if you believe, if you believe that you can get to two bookings a day in six months' time using the exact same system that AG thrives on, that Shane was able to learn and thrive on as well, there is absolutely no reason, Amy, that you can't make that work. No reason at all. The only things that might come into place would be shitty brand, lack of effort, fear, unwillingness to take imperfect action. And I'd say probably the other big one is lack of communication.